Welcome to this video in the Blueprint of Life topic. This video is going to be looking at syllabus dot point, discuss evidence for the mutagenic nature of radiation. So environmental factors that may increase the rate of mutation include things like x-rays, radiation from atomic bombs and ultraviolet light. Obviously radiation from atomic bombs isn't something that we come in contact with all the time. UV light, however, we do on a daily basis when we walk outside in the sun. And x-rays are something that we may come in contact in our lives, depending on whether we injure ourselves and need to have x-rays and things. However, we need to be mindful of their uh, mutagenic nature for people who work with them on a daily basis. So radiation was the first mutagenic agent known, and its effect on genes were first noticed in the 1920s. When x-rays were first discovered, they were thought to be harmless and were a great novelty. So some people could even uh, purchase an x-ray machine that you could have at your house and you could have it set up in a lounge room. You could stand behind it and see everything under your clothes, which was sort of, you know, some people thought was entertaining. So most of the first generation of scientists who worked with radiation died at a fairly young age from cancer. One of the most famous examples was Marie Curie and her daughter, who both died from leukemia through their work with radiation. We also know from earlier in our Blueprint of Life topic that uh, Rosalind Franklin also suffered from the effects of radiation poisoning due to her work with x-rays in order to create the x-ray crystallography images of DNA that were then used by Watson and Crick to create their model of the DNA double helix. So Hans Mueller received a Nobel Prize in 1927 to showing that genes had the ability to mutate when exposed to x-rays. So his work here using x-rays then led to Beetle and Tatum also using x-rays to produce mutations in bread mold in the formulation of their one gene, one polypeptide hypothesis that we looked at quite, close, quite closely uh, earlier in the Blueprint of Life topic after we looked at protein synthesis. So they found that if particular uh, molds were bombarded with x-rays, they weren't able to produce a particular amino acid that they required to grow. So therefore they came to the conclusion that those x-rays created a change in that gene, which is simply a mutation. The atomic bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during the war also increased the evidence for mutations caused by radiation. There was a tenfold increase in cancer deaths directly after the bombs were dropped in comparison to any time previous to the dropping of the bombs. On April 26th in 1986, a nuclear reactor in Chernobyl overheated and exploded. As a result of this accident, tons of radioactive material was released into the atmosphere. And as we can see from the images that are here, children born in Belarus, Russia and the Ukraine for a number of generations afterwards exhibited a large number of different physical traits that were the result of the mutagenic nature of the radiation that their parents were exposed to. Okay, so this ties in with that idea that the mutations occurred in the gametes of those individuals. So uh, those mutations were passed on to their offspring because there was a change in the DNA in the sperm and egg of those individuals that were exposed to uh, the radiation from the accident. Okay, so this was a nice quick video, really easy dot point to have a look at. We've got a number of different pieces of evidence that has helped to prove the mutagenic nature of radiation. And that brings us to the end of this video. So thank you for watching.